Welcome back. It's 550. Time for your morning news now. A retrial is underway for 36 year old Nia Tao accused in a 2021 triple homicide. A hung jury ended the initial trial last summer. Yesterday's opening statements focused on the July 23, 2021 events when authorities discovered Peng Lor and Nemo Yang, both 24, and Trevor Maloney, 23, dead at the Romskov Quarry in West Salem. Prosecutors accused Tao and 46-year-old Kam Nathath Ratanasak of the murders, allegedly over a $600 debt. Both men were at the crime scene, but attorneys dispute who pulled the trigger. Lacrosse's deputy district attorney claims Tao fired the fatal shots. Mr. Tanisak hands the gun to Mr. Tao and then gets back into the driver's seat of his car. Mr. Tao then sh shoots Nemo, Peng, and Trevor several times each. Tanisak was sentenced earlier this year to life in prison. He's expected to testify later this week. The Justice Department has charged a Pakistani man in a murder for hire plot against U.S. government officials and politicians. Prosecutors allege the 46-year-old traveled to New York in April in an attempt to hire a hitman who turned out to be an undercover FBI agent. Sources tell CBS News intelligence about the alleged plot prompted the Secret Service to ramp up security assets for former President Trump. Today, Vice President Kamala Harris and her new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walls, are set to speak in Eau Claire. A source close to the Harris campaign says Walls was chosen due to his executive experience as governor and his legislative background in Congress. Walls is an Army National Guard veteran. He worked as a high school teacher before entering politics. Campaign strategists believe he will broaden the ticket's appeal to moderates and independents. Minnesota's strength comes from our values, our commitment to working together, to seeing past our differences, to always being willing to lend a helping hand. Those are the same values I learned on the family farm and tried to instill in my students. I took it to Congress and to the state capitol, and now Vice President Harris and I are running to take those very values to the White House. In a surprising turn of events, the Trump campaign also announced Vance will be in Eau Claire today, too. We'll have coverage of both of those events for you. Also happening today, a back-to-school event at Catholic Charities will continue to give students a head start for the new school year. School supplies and backpacks will be distributed to kids at the Lacrosse Center today from 8 to 6, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., that is. This is the fourth back-to-school drive hosted by the Catholic Charities this summer, and it's a helpful way to lighten the expenses of back-to-school for families. 700 students will receive new supplies during the events. Cities across the U.S. embrace National Night Out with community connection events. In La Crosse, residents gathered at Greenfield Town Park enjoying hot dogs and fire hose demonstrations. West Salem hosted its event at Village Park with the new police chief in attendance. He believes events like National Night Out can help keep communities safe. I think still the, the, the idea of partnership, um, the partnership between the community and the police department being like the eyes helping us so we can help them just make this place a lot safer. There are now more than 16,000 cities across the country that participate in National Night Out. All right, fog and low cloud activity starting this early morning here. We have patchy to dense fog. Please take it slow and mind the cars that are right in front of you now. We get into current temperatures, though. 50s, some 40s out there right now. Temperatures are dropping. In fact, as we go through the afternoon and the, the morning hours, you're looking at conditions to be in the 50s, 60s, and the 70s possibly for Eau Claire. Then we pick up for today, upper 50s to middle 60s. 70s roll in possibly to near 80 degrees today for La Crosse. How about your high temperatures? There they are, 74 in Ladysmith, 84 for La Crosse, Eau Claire looking at 77 degrees and Prairie Machine about 79 degrees. Get out and enjoy it if you can. Some storms coming later on tonight though. North of I-90, please be careful. They are non-severe and they'll continue into the early morning for tomorrow.